Hi guys, welcome Dan here from the Magic Junk Drawer and we are up to the Pisces spread for Mercury Retrograde. If you don't know what that is, watch the first couple of minutes of the Aries video where I explain that. And if you're looking for a private reading with me, you can contact me through Instant Go or through PayPal, which will both be in the description box below. All right, Pisces, what's going on for you during this retrograde, Mercury retrograde period? All right. The chariot could be a uh, cancer. If you're involved with the cancer or you work with the cancer, or it could be moving forward pretty fast, which is kind of remarkable during a retrograde period, <laughs> Mercury retrograde. You have the Knight of Wands here in reverse, which could be a situation, but it also could be that you're just feeling now like things were moving forward fast and now you kind of hit a snag. You have the death card right in the center of your spread, which is transformation or ending something to start something new. It doesn't have to be something catastrophic. This could be a good thing. It could be, um, I quit one job to start a better job. But it, during the retrograde period, it should be in the same field. The Page of Cups could be you, Pisces, that little Pisces fish in the cup. Or it could be a new offering of love. Or somebody comes in with an offering of love. It doesn't have to be a new person. It just could be, it could be somebody that you're already involved with. Of course, it could be somebody from your past during Mercury retrograde. You have the Ten of Wands in reverse, which means you were feeling like you had the weight of the world on your shoulders, but now you're moving out of that. Things are not as heavy as they were. I'll pull three more cards. Oh, the hangman. Everyone's getting hangmaned. <laughs> So now you have the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. So your knight in shining armor is stuck in the mud. He has not shown up because he's lost. <laughs> well, when he's upside down, he's having some trouble. So especially if you're involved with an earth sign, that's it. the Pentacles is an earth sign. Um, the Knight of Cups is more of the knight in shining armor. But this could also be a situation. With these cards being in reverse, it could just show being stuck. It doesn't necessarily have to be a specific person. It could be like the situation is stuck. You could have had some good momentum going with your career, and then all of a sudden you kind of feel like it's stalled. You have the hind man, which is exactly that, feeling like you, you're stuck. You just can't move forward. And you have the queen of cups in reverse, which... The Queen of Cups could be you, but since it's in reverse, it's kind of, once again, like the situation. Then you have three, you have two knights, and you have the Queen of Cups all in reverse. So it seems like everybody else, you're feeling like you are stuck. I don't want to leave it here like this because it's not telling us too much. I feel like this is more about your career, not so much about your love life, but I'm going to pull two more cards just because, I mean, it's showing that you're stuck, but yeah, we know that. It's Mercury retrograde. What else can it tell us? Ah, the Hierophant and the Fool, both in reverse. So the Hierophant could be a Taurus, if you're involved with the Taurus, or it could be a spiritual leader, or some kind of a spiritual something that you follow. And the Fool in reverse, which means you're not feeling like things are moving forward. You're not feeling like you have the opportunity. It's feeling stuck. It can almost be, um, what's the word? Reckless. Like you can almost be acting a little bit reckless, like almost feeling like, you know what, nothing is moving forward enough, fast enough, so screw it. I'm just going to throw my hands up in the air and walk away, like being a little bit reckless about it. But you know what, Pisces, this is how retrograde periods make us feel. So try to turn it into something positive. And by like positive, I would say, if you feel like you're not having any control over the situation, go to something you can control. If you were once studying something spiritual like astrology or maybe you were studying Wicca, go back to that now because it's a good time to go back to something. And going back to something that you used to find a lot of joy in will help. All right, if you like what we're doing here with the Magic Junk Drawer, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.